to show you how to create uh, e-listings in the new Panda tools today. There's a couple of different ways that you can uh, that you can create e-listings. One way is to go to the Real Estate Tools tab and choose your listings, and then uh, you'll see the um, list of your listings, and uh, you can add a new listing by using the drop-down menu on the right. We're, or we're going to choose real estate. Okay, so that's one way to add a new listing. Another way that you can do the same thing is through the send your messages tab. And you can decide, by the way, which uh, way is easier for you to create listings. Okay, so we can go to the send your messages tab and choose actually create new message. And then when it says what kind of email do you want to create? you can choose e-listings. Now that's going to take you to the exact same page. So how you get here is absolutely up to you. Again, we're going to choose a real estate listing and the uh, listing detail page will open for you, okay? Now the first field is for the listing status. Use the drop down uh, arrow to the right and you can choose whatever status that you like. I'm going to choose new listing. The next field is called MLS ID, and that is self-explanatory, but I will let you know that our system does have <clears throat> a duplicate handling feature for this field, and it will not accept uh, two listings within a single user's tool set with the same exact MLS ID. So if you wanted to create two separate uh, listing records for a particular property, you could uh, add on the, on the end of your MLS ID uh, some additional information uh, that would uh, then make this identification number unique so that our system would no longer consider it to be a duplicate, okay? The next is obviously uh, the street address. Address line two would be if there's a unit number or some other piece of information, additional information about the specific address. Uh, the city is self-explanatory. The state province is a drop-down menu, so you're just going to browse for your uh, specific state, and you're going to enter your zip code, and I will let you know. Our system will also alert you that if your um, state and zip code um, throw a, a flag, if you enter an invalid zip code for the state, then our system's not going to accept that listing. It won't be able, you won't be able to save it until you've got a valid uh, zip code, okay? Location, description, subdivision, or area is um, is a uh, an optional field. If there's a subdivision name or some you know part of town um, that's known by name, you could certainly enter it there. Your property price. I like to use the dollar sign. Uh, that is optional, and I don't use the uh, decimal and the um, the cents uh, typically uh, properties. Uh, don't need that so you can you can add it if you want to an alternate ID would be if you are you yourself or your broker uses an additional uh, number or something to identify uh, your listings this is more for in information for your use okay the number of bedrooms number of full baths number of half baths are relatively self-explanatory as well. Now, the headline field will be if you're going to send an email uh, listing, you could put um, a description, for example, you could quickly make this an open house or even a broker, broker open uh, message. If you want to, and then a sub headline whatever you like, okay? Whatever selling points uh, will quickly grab the recipient's attention and uh, generate interest in that property, okay? The description typically comes uh, right off the MLS if you want to, uh, would be similar to, you can, you can spend the time and create your own description online if you want to, or uh, if you're like me, you can just go to the listing online, copy the description off the MLS and paste it in, okay? And then make modifications to it if you like. The online listing page URL would be if there is a dedicated web page for the uh, specific property uh, that you want to direct your recipients to, okay? Uh, if you have a virtual tour that has a URL, you could certainly use that here if you wanted to as well, okay? 
uh, and you should ensure that your uh, URLs start with HTTP colon slash slash www just to be sure that everybody that clicks the link is then able to successfully follow that link and uh, land on the correct page. I encourage you to test your link uh, by opening a new browser window and pasting that link in into that new uh, URL address uh, field and clicking go just to make sure that it works and it lands on the page that you want. There's nothing more embarrassing than uh, having an incomplete URL here, sending out a listing greeting and then the recipients contact you and say, hey, that link doesn't work. So make sure you test your links, okay? Now adding photos to your listing may sound intimidating, but it's actually quite easy. And it will be even easier if you've already got your photos at the size that you want them and if they're all saved in, in a um, the same location on your desktop or in a, in a specific folder on your computer that you can quickly access, okay? Now the photo name field is uh, and the photo description field are for you. They will not display anywhere online on your um, listing greetings or anything. These fields are for your information only. So you can, you can put whatever you want to for the photo name and description, okay? And then you're simply going to browse for the, um, the image that you want. And it'll show you a path to that image. Now, I've named my images um, very short, easy little image names uh, just because I'm frankly lazy, okay? So uh, browse for your image. And then to add additional images, you're simply going to click this little plus button here. The system will refresh. It'll show you the, the photo that you um, just entered and the display order, okay? And the photos will display in the order in which you upload them unless you manually manage them here, okay? And you can absolutely do that if you need to change the order or something changes about them, okay? And uh, so browse for a couple of different photos if you want to. And, and I'm, again, I'm quite lazy. So since this information isn't really going to appear anywhere and isn't too, too meaningful to me, I just put the display order for both of those um, photos. But you, again, uh, feel free to create great names uh, and descriptions for your property or for your images uh, if they're helpful to you, okay? Now, as you notice, um, I am double clicking on the image name when I browse for it and I find it you can single click on it and sometimes it'll open a little dialog box and it'll ask you to open the image uh, that's another way to do it I just double click on the image it shows me the path then I click the plus sign and it gets uploaded okay and I want to show you um, a finished listing with uh, a couple of you know several different photos so bear with me while I add um, just a few more images. You are um, allowed to add up to 20 images for each of your listings if you are creating them manually, okay? Uh, so feel free to, to add up to 20 images for each of your listings. And as you can see, once you get the hang of it, it's really not difficult to do at all, okay? All right, so now we've got our eight images, and I want to show you this uh, little uh, feature right here, which is uh, a little checkbox that says enable this listing in my newsletters. If you're one of our real estate newsletter, monthly newsletter users, and you want your listing to display in your newsletter, all you need to do is click that little box that says enable this listing in my newsletters. Okay, you can display in your newsletters up to 15 listings per category. Okay. So we're going to display the 15 most recently added or updated uh, listings for each category that you see here. So if you have 35 listings, but you've got them all designated as new listings, then we're only going to show the, the 15 most recently added or updated. Okay, so one way that you could get more listings to display then would be to uh, choose a new category for some of those listings if you want to. Okay. And I forgot to show you quickly, um, managing photos is really quite simple as well. For any photos that you want to delete, you just click the little red X there next to the image, and that image will be deleted. Uh, and that's really all there is to managing your photos. If, if the seasons change and you need a photo with winter now, 
with some snow in it or whatever, then you can very easily come in here and manage those uh, those images. Okay, same thing for uh, if you relist the property and you need to uh, edit the uh, property MLS ID. Okay, but first thing that we're going to do now is you can definitely I encourage you to spell check your listing. It'll it'll um, spell check your um, your headline, subheadline, and description fields, and that may save you some embarrassment down the road when you're emailing out your, uh, if you're emailing out uh, e-listings using our uh, advanced e-tools feature, okay? So now that we've saved our listing, we see that in our list of listings, uh, our new created listing appears. So if we wanted to send out an email, we're gonna choose the action, and we're going to choose send real estate e-listings. Now we could also choose the edit button again and change the MLS ID number, update our photos, whatever. But here we're going to say send a real estate listing. I just want to quickly show you how simple this is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you're going to choose from the templates that are available to you. And the templates that you see uh, will be different depending on what broker you're with. If you're an independent user, if you're with one of our broker partners, okay? So, and I always like to use uh, one that uh, offers the most uh, image capability. Okay, so I'm going to choose this one because it's going to show more images. Now, the banner for your listing messages is going to show at the top, at the very top of the message. And again, this uh, list of the images that you're going to see is also going to be determined by whether you're with one of our broker partners. If you are, they will have, <clears throat> may have provided uh, specific banner images that are available to you either before or instead of the new Panda listing banner images. Okay, and I'm going to choose the welcome home banner. This one's going to take just a minute and it's going to create my, my e-listing now. And here you see my headline that I entered, open house this Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. My uh, property address, beds, bath, price and there's my beautiful description along with the images that I have loaded okay and you will also see because I have uh, entered a URL for my property there's going to be a see more online link within the message so that when people click on this they're going to land on your web page that you specified the map view button will also appear and that is driven by Google Maps according to the address that you have provided okay so uh, if you did what I did and create and made a fake address here then obviously that's not probably going to work very well okay uh, and so when we're sure that our listing looks the way that we want to we're simply going to save and continue and that's going to take you to the email details page where you're going to make your message name your email subject line choose your recipients uh, and then you'll go next to the schedule and send where you can send your message now or save it for later.